Okay, in my last video, I showed how to remove Windows from our Linux dual boot system. Windows is removed and Linux is now using all the available disk space. However, we still have this option here, Windows Boot Manager in our Grub menu. And in this video, we want to get rid of that and that Linux starts directly. As always, everything I describe here in this video is available in this blog post. I put the link in the video description. Okay, let's start a terminal here. And usually what you do is in order to update your Grub menu, you just have to execute this command here, sudo update grub. And this will try to detect all the operating systems you have on your computer and then will update your grub configuration. However, uh, it still finds the Windows Boot Manager, so it does not really change anything here. So we have to remove this Windows Boot Manager here on Dev, SDA, EFI, Microsoft, etc. Okay, in order to do that, we need to mount this um, folder uh, or partition. So first I create... Uh, a mount point here, mnt efi, sudo mkhd, and then we mount this partition so to, in order to have access to it. So we say sda1 in our case, mnt efi. Here we go. And now we can show the contents of this folder, mnt efi. If I, this is basically that's this folder here. So, and here you can see now our bootloaders. We have one from Microsoft and one from our Linux system. And now what we're gonna do is to remove this Microsoft folder here. So let's use this command here. Uh, so to remove recursive, we can just copy and paste it over here. And that's it. And now we can do a sudo update drop again. As you can see, uh, it's no longer mentions a Windows bootloader here. And that's it. If I restart the computer now, the boot menu, the grub menu directly uh, it will not appear and it will start Linux directly.